Oh, hi. I'm Lauren, and welcome to the Side Chef Studio Kitchen. Today, we are celebrating National Cereal Day by going beyond breakfast and making pimento cornflake tuna casserole. This recipe is super special to me because I've given a classic dish from my childhood a total facelift with some garlic parmesan cornflakes and a pepper trifecta. Let's get started. I'm using green bell peppers in this dish because I think they have a really nice peppery flavor that is going to complement the tuna really well. Just cut around the center so you can remove the seeds and stem. To make sure my pepper is very finely diced, I'm gonna first cut it into strips because if you cut them into strips first, and then dice them, it's a lot easier to get small pieces that you want. We're basically going to give our onion the same treatment that we gave our peppers. So we want to make sure that the dice is very small. So after that, we're going to cut in this way. And now we dice. Time to mince the garlic. I'm gonna give this garlic a little crush with the back of the knife and then I'm going to slice it lengthwise. And once I have these little matchsticks, just flip them around and mince them. Half of this garlic is going to go in the casserole and half of this garlic will go on top of the casserole. We are all prepped. I'm just gonna set this garlic aside and then we can move on to the fun part. Free facial. Here we have around eight cups of water that I'm going to bring to a boil with a tablespoon of salt. And then if you actually made your pasta water taste like the sea, you'd way over salt it. While we're waiting for the water to boil, we're going to crush the cornflakes. My favorite way to do this is with a bag and a rolling pin. I like having the nice uneven pieces on top of the casserole. I think it gives it a really good texture. To make our cornflake topping, we are going to spice it up by first adding some Parmesan. Next, we'll add our minced garlic. I mean, every cereal can be improved with cheese and garlic, am I right? Next, we're going to take the garlic flavor even farther by adding garlic powder. We're gonna heat it up a bit by adding some crushed red pepper flakes. I add half a teaspoon, but feel free to add more or less depending on your preference. And then a generous pinch of salt and pepper. Finally, we're gonna add around two tablespoons of olive oil and mix everything together. What's two tablespoons anyway? <laughs> I could honestly just eat this straight. It smells so good. I know for a fact that it also tastes good. Now that our water is boiling, we're just gonna add in the pasta. Cook the pasta for four minutes less than instructed by the packaging. This way, we make sure not to overcook the pasta when we put it in the oven. We are using less water than you normally would for pasta because we really wanna concentrate the starches in the remaining pasta water. That's gonna be the base for an amazing creamy sauce. Now that our pasta is cooked, we're going to set aside one cup of the pasta water and then drain. This is a fun kitchen hack. Instead of adding vegetable broth and pasta water to my casserole, which might make it a little too liquidy, we're going to add vegetable broth paste directly into the pasta water because the vegetable broth provides really good flavor and the pasta water with all of those starches from the pasta gives a really nice velvety texture to the casserole. So I came up with this. Am I a genius? Maybe. For as few dishes as possible, I've got the same pot that we boiled the noodles in right here. I'm going to add a generous drizzle of olive oil, around two tablespoons, and then saute the vegetables over medium-high heat until softened, around three to five minutes. In more traditional tuna casserole recipes, you would use canned soup for the base. We're bringing it up a notch by using our hot pasta stock and sour cream instead. Along with that, we're gonna use mustard, paprika, and Worcestershire sauce to really amp up the flavor. And then a couple pinches of salt and pepper. Stir everything together until it's combined. Turn the heat to medium and then add in the cheese. Anyone who knows me knows that I have a really hard time creating a recipe without cheese in it. And this is no exception. The cheese is going to slowly melt into the sauce and act as a thickener as well as a boost of cheesy flavor. Now that the cheese has melted and the sauce has thickened up, we're gonna turn off the heat and add in our noodles, tuna, and pimento. At this point, if you see a lot of liquid pooling in the bottom of the pot, I would add another handful of cheese to really thicken it up. Everything is mixed together, it smells amazing, it looks amazing, and we're just gonna add it into this here casserole dish. Just make sure to get every last drop out of the pot because we need all of that flavor. 
Our casserole is looking great, it smells great, it's got three kinds of peppers in it, the flavor's gonna be amazing, but the real star of the show is our garlic parmesan cornflake topping. Really what I wanna prove here is that cereal is for more than just breakfast. Here we're using it to create the perfect blast of garlicky cheesy crunch on top of an already amazing casserole. Spoon the cheesy garlic cornflakes over the top of the casserole. Now that we have our topping, we are going to put this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. What we're looking for is a golden brown top and some gentle bubbles along the rim. Our casserole is looking great. The color is perfect. Now we're just going to let it rest for 10 minutes so everything can set. I know it's hard, but that 10 minutes is gonna allow everything to cool down and set so that it's perfect. This last part is totally optional, but I like to add a little bit of chopped parsley for a little bit of color and freshness. I am so happy with how this turned out. The top is a beautiful golden brown, the noodles are cooked to perfection, and we got this on the table in less than an hour. If you're looking for a mind-blowingly easy, super delicious recipe that won't break your wallet, look no further than this fun twist on a classic. Enjoy!